Well, it's not just an archaic greeting. It's a weather phenomenon that wreaks havoc on buildings, cars, and crops. You can probably guess which version of hail this video is about. Hailstorms are destructive and even deadly. Think of the 2020 Calgary hailstorm that caused over $1.2 billion in damage. It was the fourth costliest natural disaster in Canadian history. Hail doesn't mess around. In Canada, hail is most common across the prairies and in southern Ontario, but it can strike anywhere. In this video, we'll go over the cause of hailstorms, how to protect your home from them, and how insurance covers hail damage. Hail occurs when water droplets high in the atmosphere get pushed upwards by strong updrafts. At high altitudes, they freeze and begin falling again. Sometimes they make it all the way to the ground as tiny hailstones. Other times, they'll bounce up and down in the storm cloud, adding a new layer of ice each time. Eventually, the hailstone gets too heavy for even the strongest updrafts. It falls to earth, where it shatters windows, flattens crops, and smashes roofs. That was the roof. It doesn't take much imagination to picture what happens when thousands of ice bullets fly straight down at your house. Even small hail can damage a home's roof. Small hailstones can chip away at asphalt shingles and form small cracks. Larger hailstones have enough force to puncture wood or clay tiles. Skylights, are designed to withstand some hail, but they can crack or even shatter when they're battered by large hail. Anything else on your house that's exposed to the open sky is at risk from hail damage too. Eaves troughs, chimneys, satellite dishes. Hailstones can tear through any of them if the storm is powerful enough. And that is assuming that the hail falls straight down, which is not likely to happen. Hail storms often come with powerful winds driving hailstones sideways and obliterating siding and windows. Anyone who's experienced a severe hailstorm can tell you it is a harrowing experience. Step one for protecting your home from hail is understanding your risk. Hail can form nearly anywhere, but there are some regions where it's more common and more severe. Know the hail risk for your region. Hail is typically a summer phenomenon. Most of it falls between May and September. If you're in a hail-prone area, keep a close eye on the weather forecast so you'll have some warning before a hailstorm strikes. The next thing you need to do is ensure that your home's physical defenses are in good shape. Keep your roof and your eaves troughs in good states of repair. That includes keeping your eaves troughs clear of debris. If they're plugged up, Hail can build up in your water drainage system and cause a total blockage. Even if your home escapes with no hail damage, you could end up with water damage instead. If you know a hailstorm is on the way, you can use thick, heavy tarps to cover anything that's at risk. Sheds, barbecues, patio furniture, gardens, and so on. If you're in a hail prone area, you can also build hail defenses right into your house. Retractable exterior shutters protect your windows from hail, for example. The only surefire way to completely stop hail from damaging your home is to live in an underground bunker. If that's not your style, you should still prepare to deal with hail damage to your home despite your best prevention efforts. That brings us to our final topic. Most home insurance providers in Canada, including Square One, include coverage for hail damage, but there are a few wrinkles. Some insurance providers impose a higher deductible for hail damage, especially for homes in high-risk areas. That means you would need to pay a higher portion of any repairs yourself before your insurance coverage pays the rest. Also, depending on the age and condition of your roof, your home insurance coverage may not pay the full cost of repairs. If the roof was old and in disrepair at the time of the hailstorm, the damage may only be covered on a depreciated basis. This happens when it's deemed that the roof's deteriorated condition was at least partially to blame for the damage. Insurance doesn't cover damage from wear and tear. So in this case, your claim settlement would be adjusted accordingly. It is essential to keep your roof well-maintained 
and replace it when the time comes. That's usually every 15 to 20 years, depending on the type of roof. Now, suppose hail damages your home's siding on only one or two sides. In that case, insurance will usually only cover replacement siding on the damaged sides. It will cover the cost of replacing the siding with the same make and color, but since this siding will be new, it might not look the same as the old stuff. Siding tends to fade in color over time, and home insurance generally won't pay to replace undamaged siding just to get a color match. If you don't know how your home insurance policy covers hail damage, make sure to clarify it with your provider. Don't wait for the worst to happen and find out you have less coverage than you needed. Do you have any questions about home insurance and hail? Let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to answer them. And if you're looking for a home insurance policy that automatically covers hail damage at no extra cost, you can get a quote from Square One online in less than five minutes at squareone.ca or by clicking the link on the screen. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful and even deadly. Think of the 2020 Flip, flip, flip. Step one, <laughs> please go back. <laughs> that the roof's deteriorated condition was at least. <laughs> 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 <laughs>